Hey YouTube, it is Monday, February the, the 12th, yes. It is about 5.30 and I'm about to dash out of here. But I would like to thank you guys very much for your uh, replies on my last question of whether my videos are too long or not. Everyone said that they're not, so I'm just going to keep chugging them along uh, and just keep talking as I see fit. Um, I will, however, uh, break out, like, I will, with my snippets, the outfit, the actual outfit photos, like the little video clips I do, I'm going to also put them at the end, so all four outfits will be at the end as well, just in case, you know, for reference, just to make it a little easier. So I think I will do that. Um, as a little change, and we will just keep going from there. Google um, um, Analytics be damned. <laughs> so, I'm glad you guys enjoy um, a little time we spend together. Uh, you know, like fashionable minds. Anywho, let us get to the outfit. Today, I am wearing my J. Crew, uh cashmere sweater, very old sweater, um, that I have wanted to wear for a couple of weeks now. I was just a little stuck on how to wear it. Um, and then when I pulled it out of my closet like two weeks ago, I realized that there was a little moth hole in it. Um, so anyway, got that, um, I just sewed that up. Um, the white shirt underneath is from Zara. The pants are J. Crew from J. Crew Factory and my Zara boots. Jewelry, my girl's talk necklace. Um, and I haven't changed out my earrings from last week. So this is from Winden Jewelry, W-I-N-D-E-N. -E I believe these are on sale now. It's like a beaded, um, earring that goes from one ear hole to the next. Catbird cuff. And, um, Mira T, uh, diamond wishbone stud. Apple watch, coach strap, Pandora, Pandora, uh, Pandora. And that is about it. Um, oh, and for the bag, I'm wearing my, uh, teeny teeny, uh, what is this, my Louis Vuitton, oh my god, speedy, 25, yeah, so, that is about it today, um, yeah, nothing else going on, I'm still chugging away at my question and answer video, I hope to have it up, at least if it's not up well, along with this it should be up hopefully by uh, early next week. Um, I just have a few more things that I have to tackle um, and then it'll be up. Also have a sunglasses collection that was a request video coming um, and um, what else do I have in the works? Oh, a couple of Pandora videos too. So yeah, I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care, bye. Good morning YouTube. It is Tuesday, February 13th. Uh, the kids are actually awake. It's like 7 o'clock, so I figured I'm going to talk to you this morning while I do my makeup. <clears throat> I knew Island Girl had requested some makeup tutorial, so not that I know how to put on makeup, but I will show you how I put on my makeup this morning um, and go through my outfit. Uh, yeah, so I already did the eyebrows because those are impossible to do. While wow. the thing is here, you can't see me anyway, so I'm going to use um, some of my coastal scents eyeshadows if you guys haven't tried coastal scents i don't even know if they're still in business but they were cool i got all of these for 99 cents and the quality is amazing especially them both both um shimmers and um they're mattes so here we go i think i'm gonna go with navy blue kind of something um since i'm wearing navy blue so um yeah so here's a question this um for those of you i guess in the northeast i don't know uh, whoever's going through winter now what is going on with this flu epidemic i have never had the flu have any of you ever had the flu people are dying children are dying in new york like this five-year-old girl yesterday died apparently she had a fever the mother got the fever down and then all of a sudden the fever spiked by the way i'm taking these two um kind of peachy colors here let me see if there's the colors on the back. Yeah, this one is paprika. Very pretty. I like it as a transition color. And this one is Tuscany. Can you see that? I'll show it. So this one is Tuscany. That one is paprika. And I'm just taking both of them on my Sigma fluffly, 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 
fluffy blend, blending brush. I can't talk today. But yeah, she died. And, you know, I'm driving to the bus yesterday. And I'm like, God, I have a five-year-old daughter. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I just, I can't wrap my head around dying from the flu. I know. It's horrible. Uh, how are you guys, uh, those of you who are in the flu pandemic areas, how are you, like, fortifying yourself? Like, I'm not, I mean, I'm making sure the kids wash their hands more often. Um, as soon as I hear a sniffle, a cough, um, you know, anything <laughs> that is remotely, even a cold, because, oh, a cold in this house is detrimental because then we all get it. I'm giving them, you know... I make sure they get their vitamins every day. Number one, they're multivitamins. But I'm giving them, I'm loading them up with vitamin C and orange juice. And I'm actually giving them like little Tylenol cold just to suppress it and knock it out so it just doesn't get worse. So I just don't understand how these kids are catching the flu. These schools, I don't, uh, I just, I feel so, I just feel horrible. So what are you guys doing to combat this flu? Let me know. I don't know. I just have never had the flu. Um, and that's what I do even for myself when I feel something like I'm getting sick and my mother swears by like cayenne pepper and water and vinegar mix and drinking that. And I, I think it actually does work. <laughs> and, you know, I take emergency. I'm just knocking it out. I just try. Don't let it fester. I don't know. Uh, instead of going with a, a, a brown, I think I'm going to go with the navy blue. And that navy blue is called <laughs> navy baby. Navy baby. Right there. So I'm gonna take that, I think I'm gonna take that my flat shader brush, another Sigma. And these brushes need to be cleaned, they need to stop being lazy. And I am just going to pat that all over the lid. But yeah, it's just so, so very sad. Um, they, you know, this five-year-old, and then even babies, and just these kids are dying from the flu. You know, you, you, you wouldn't think. Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, yeah, how have you all been? I have been tired for some reason. Ah, oh, this winter is just... Eesh. Going back into those two, Paprika and Tuscany, and we're going to blend out that navy blue so there are no harsh lines. And again, I take it underneath the eye at the same time um, to save time. And then that navy blue is not so, you know, it's more appropriate for the day. I make sure I'm doing what I'm doing in there. Okay, because I'm doing this in the viewfinder. Um, yeah, so let's get into the outfit today. I am wearing, as you can kind of see, my star sweater, I am debuting it, as I like to say, for my new things. Haha. <laughs> so the star sweater from J. Crew, and I'm glad I did go, uh, you know, I made it, I went for the extra small to make it, um, tight. And the navy blue pants are also from J. Crew Factory. Um, yeah. So, let's see how I'm loving the shirt. So far, I'm loving it. The bracelet sleeves come up higher. So it looks like it's on purpose. It doesn't look like, you know, I stole my child's sweater. I'm gonna go back into that navy blue and I just wanna intensify it just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Yes. And then I see a sparkly blue this one is called rainstorm we're going to try a little bit of that in the center of the eyelid it doesn't really can't really see it so let's put on some more yeah you see a little a little something and i'm pretty sure you can spray this with like fix plus or some kind of makeup setting spray to make it more intense, but since this is day, I just want a little shine. And there. So, that's that. Let's just do another. So Valentine's Day is tomorrow. 
Does anyone have plans? Do we have plans? What are we going to do? I have doctor's appointments, so <laughs> I'm not really doing anything. Um, I have uh, my mascaras. You guys know the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Dior. Uh, what is this? Pump and Volume, which I'm running out of. I need to buy some more because I like this stuff for my little eyebrows. I mean, my little eyelashes. I'm wondering if I should uh, change my earrings into my Dior earrings. I don't know. Kind of lazy. But anyway, uh, have you guys, well, by the time you see this, Valentine's Day will be over, but did you guys do anything fun? Did you get anything sweet from your sweetheart or for, from yourself? <laughs> um, of course, I bought myself a little something something. It has not come yet. And, of course, it is in the Pandora um, realm. I think I'm slowing down on the Pandora kick, oh, mainly because I bought everything. All, pretty much all the charms that I wanted. A lot of them I like. Ooh, just stabbed myself in the eye. Um, a lot of the Pandora charms I like are retired, so. Um, and I just simply don't know why Pandora does that. It's just really silly that they retire these pieces because they're gorgeous. But if I'm not Pandora, see, I need to get more of this. This is all dried up. And it just takes longer. I'm trying to wait to for a sale because I don't want to pay full price for this. When Lord and Taylor has their friends and family, this is 15% off. And that is a good bit amount off. Why pay full price for fabulous? <laughs> so I'm just going to give another coat uh, to my tiny no there lashes. And uh, the Dior um, gives me kind of length. And this stuff here, the Too Faced stuff, gives me volume. Ah, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me. I am on a, the look, I'm like all over the place, just so you guys know, but this is how my brain works. <laughs> I am looking for a new concealer, although this is always gonna be in my um, collection, because it's just a good concealer. I was gonna get the Too Faced, not the Too Faced, the Tarte, um, try the tart shape tape. I've never tried it, and you know what? Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Tart and some of these companies have just been, you know, if y'all wanna be blatantly obvious about who you cater to, then you knock yourself out. I'm not. I, I'm not here for that. Um. So I don't know what kind of concealers do you guys use? You know, I don't really want to go the way of Mac. I hear these Makeup Revolution concealers are good. I might try those. I've done the LA Girl thing. I'm a little tired of that. Um, a Kat Von D one was good, but then it got it got kind of um, thick, <laughs> like too thick. So I don't know. Leave me some concealer um, recommendations down below, guys so I can try it, something new. And it could be drugstore, it could be high-end, whichever, it doesn't matter. I am an equal opportunity shopper, you guys know that. <laughs> and I think I will put on some, um, some foundation. I have been trying to get rid of this Becca, what is this, the Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation of Forever. I bought this, this is in the color tobacco. I bought this on Hope Look like two freaking years ago, and you don't if you don't need a lot, and it's like still coming. So I got the little dude next to me now. Um, but it's it's a good foundation actually. I don't I don't hate it, but I'm trying to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna dot that around. Oh, I think I need a little more. Let's dot some more. Yeah, so, yeah, so TV shows. I've started watching The Alienist. Not, eh, it's, it's, it's taken a while to pop off. I'm not sure if I'm really into it. What else do I watch? Um, I used to watch Sleepy Hollow until that went weird. Um, I mean, Lucifer I watch, but I'm kind of done with, the premise was fun, but then it got weird <laughs> and stupid and kitschy. Um, Law and Order, uh, SVU, and then they, I'm not gonna, I just, the new episode just passed, so I won't tell you who left the show, 
which I'm very annoyed with because I like this character. But I'll still watch. I mean, that, that show is hanging on for dear life. What else do I watch? Um, Madam Secretary is, is pretty smart. So I watch that. Um, what else do I watch? There's really nothing else. Everything is like going, everything's don't, uh, I don't know. They just don't uh, catch my attention anymore. So what TV shows do you guys? No, no. What TV shows do you guys watch? Let me know. Um. Oh, so that's that. Oh, and then uh, let's see. Black Panther is coming out on Tuesday. I mean Tuesday on Friday. Very interesting. I'm using my Laura Mercier, what is this? A translucent in medium, medium deep. I like it. I really like it. And usually in the summer, in the winter time, I um I use the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, but because it is more luminous. But this is pretty good. I haven't used that at all this winter. So if it's not broke, come fix it. I like the powder. Yeah, let me know what kind of TV shows you guys are into. Like, if it's not, I mean, I like to be entertained, but I also don't want to just sit there and have my brain melt away into nothingness. Plus, I got the kids running around sometimes, and it's like, oh my god, like the alien or something. Like, my god, this is TNT, people. Why am I seeing butt cheek? And why do I need to see butt cheek in movies? It's like enough with the butt, the, the, the sex. That's not good writing. Can't wait till Game of Thrones comes back on. It's not coming back on until like, back on until like 2019. Boo! Boo! And they got much better with the, uh, the sex scenes. I'm so happy. You know, the first couple of seasons, I had to stop watching it. I was like, look, I, I really, I can't. Uh, Pro Matte in, why can I never find the color? It's the darkest color they have. I don't see the color on here. On Mac. Um, these brushes no longer have any kind of insignia on it. This one was a Sigma. It's that tapered one that I use for the the powder. Uh, this one, uh, F25. Sigma has so much better writing, it stays, than the MAC brushes. And they're, to me, the same brush, I swear. The same brush. One is just more expensive than the other. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to kind of bring back some dimension in the face. Yeah, so, um, oh, you guys gonna go see Black Panther? I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. I'm, I'm gonna see it, but I think I'm gonna wait until the hype dies down a little bit. I, I can't be bothered with a thousand people in the theater. I think I'll wait until, like, uh, two weeks later. And me and the hubs will make a date night of it and go see it. So, yeah, excited about that. I love superhero movies. Love it. Real Techniques uh, Blush Brush. And a NARS, I'm going to take a NARS, I haven't used NARS Sin at all. I'm going to take NARS Sin. I love this color. It's like a plummy color. And I'm just going to brush that up in the upper areas of, of the cheeky bones. And then I'm going to take this uh, IT Cosmetics Live Beautifully Big Fluffy Brush. And just make sure everything is seamless. You know what I didn't do? I'm talking all helter skelter. I didn't uh, blend the eye uh, the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this uh, huge Smashbox blush uh, brush. It's not a blush brush. It's just a blending brush. I love this one. That's so big. And I'm going to start blending the eyeshadows together a little better to make it just a little more cohesive. Okay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> there you are. There you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, okay, they don't want to see your mic. <coughs> mm -hmm. They like that. Yeah, Stella's still sleeping. They have in my, my butt. Okay, okay. Go away. Go away. Okay. Why do kids have a fascination with butt? Everything butt is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Of course, I'm taking I my... um. Know. Elf Mist and Set, shh, 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 shh. and I'm going to give myself 
a douse, and we, ooh, and we are done. Okay, yeah. Put the lipstick on, as you guys know, when I get to work. Pretty jewelries, I'm just gonna keep this on. I am trying to figure out if I should change into my Dior's. Do I wanna change into my Dior? I'm not really feeling my Dior's. I'm gonna leave it. It's the same jewelry I've been wearing, earrings. The same Mira T uh, diamond wishbone, catbird cup, and winding jewelry. Uh, winding, yeah, winding jewelry. That's what they're called, uh, earring. Uh, let's get some rings, and I think I'm gonna change out this bra. Right, so I'm gonna take my normal, uh, what has become my normal Pandora rings, uh, stack those, my Pandora, um, what is this rose gold bracelet coach strap with my um uh apple watch oh yeah on the back of the coach strap it's like maroon i love this i love this watch i'm taking my uh macy's evil eye diamond bangle and it's like uh, white and blue diamonds i think and a black diamond for the eyeball and i'm gonna do today my uh pandora gold and silver um, brace that. And there we have it. Uh, for sunglasses, I think, yeah, I'm gonna do my Celine navy blue ones. And yeah, I think I'm, oh. mm. I'm doing these, uh, boots from, uh, the shiny ones from Zara. So yeah, that is it today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video. I will be talking to you. Actually, no, I'll talk to you Thursday because tomorrow I'm off and it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone who celebrates and I will be talking to you on Thursday. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is uh, Thursday, February 15th. Hope you all are well. Um, and first and foremost, I'm going to get into, and I meant to do this last week and completely forgot. Um, my favorite small YouTubers tag, because of course many of you know that YouTube is doing something weird with people who don't have um, a thousand subscribers or a certain amount of views. I think they're like discontinuing their AdSense or some stupidity that companies do to weed out of the small people. Which quite frankly, it's, I watch a lot of small YouTubers because most of their content is more real to me. <laughs> you know, some of these big YouTubers, you know, it's nice to watch luxury YouTubers, but ain't nobody got that kind of money. I mean, I don't. And I don't get sent stuff. So I like watching small YouTubers that I know have spent their well-earned money on things. They wear them, they incorporate them. You see them more than once. You know, uh, some of these people, they get sponsored, they wear something for a week and then you never see it again. That's not real to me. Anyway. I'm going to give a shout out to all my small YouTubers. If you guys do not know them, I urge you to check their channels out. I like them. I love them. I watch them. Um, and I, a lot of you, I already know, some of you are the people I'm going to mention. <laughs> and um, some of you, um, so, and some of you will know who these people are. Um, so, let us talk about Lady B. Love Lady B. Miss California Girl, which <laughs> one day I will move to a warmer climate. Check her out. She has a sprinkling of luxury things and just real life stuff. So check her out. Windfire69, who is obsessed with Louis Vuitton, uh, let's see, uh, all the little accessories, uh, accessoires uh, from Louis Vuitton. Bag charms. Go to her if you want to look at any kind, any type of bag charm that Louis Vuitton comes out, this woman has. <laughs> and the bandos and all that stuff. So fabulous. The Bargain District. Uh, very cool. Loves Chanel. She buys a lot of, um, like pre-loved Chanel items. She has this Chanel bag that I want in the mini, that maroon with gold hardware. That's how I actually found her channel. <laughs> I was looking for that bag and I found her channel. So check her out. Rami Bree has the cutest little dog and has, uh, I like her makeup tutorials when she does them. Just check her out, very cool. Luxtopia, uh, all the way from down and down. Love her, mainly a, a little aside. I really love her for her accent. <laughs> Uh, she's a teacher and uh, she shows her daily outfit of the days as well and has lovely life stories that I like to listen to. Marvelous Style also does uh, like outfit of the days and things like that um, and your sprinkling of luxury items too. Aso Neo also has luxury items. Uh, love her channel, guys. Check her out. Miss Andre, who really uh, is over the thousand mark, but 
check her out anyway, me and her have a little banter back and forth. She has the cutest granddaughter, um, and uh, she does vlogs now, so check her out. A chic professor. Uh, go to her for uh, anything corporate attire. She does those things. She has uh, lovely um, um, uh, luxury items as well, so please check her out. The style synonym, Miss Dita, is a master at putting things together. So if you want anything eclectic, anything out of the box, jump over to her channel and Miss the Luxury Hybrid. Well, the name says it all. Uh, she's a, a fabulous as well. Um, check her out. Um, also has luxury uh, unboxings here and there. So yeah, check these guys out, people. And if I missed you, I'm so sorry. But don't be afraid to click on. And I know most of you don't because you knew me from when I had zero, you know, subscribers. Don't be afraid to check on the people that have like, you know, 20 subscribers. You never know. Sometimes they're like the best thing ever. Um, so boo, YouTube. Boo. And like I said, I told some of these people too when they did their um, comments on what YouTube is doing. I have never gotten a check from YouTube. Every time I check my revenue thing, it's like $26. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I really don't care. I'm here to do this because it's an outlet for me. It's fun. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. So uh, if you are not subscribed to these people, check them out. Subscribe. Help them reach a thousand. I think it's by the end of this month. You know, so give them some love. So that's that. Um, yeah, so let us uh, get to the outfit. Uh, today, I am wearing uh, this oversized sweater from H&M and my little heart skirt from, um, where's this from? Anthropology and my Zara shoes, my Zara boots. I was out yesterday for, um, a Valentine's Day, so, I mean, not that I, I don't think I would wear this for Valentine's Day. I'm a little too old for that. <laughs> Maybe I would. Who knows? I am that corny sometimes. But, yeah. Um, and, uh, jewelry, I haven't really changed out my jewelry, um, on this ear, it's still the diamond wishbone stud from Mira T, my Winden, um, um, you know, loop earring, but I added this little charm, heart charm from Overstock that I will talk about in a second, and my, um, catbird cuff. This is a little gold uh, heart necklace that I bought years ago, it was from some pop-up shop um, somewhere in the city. It's no longer there. Uh, coach watch strap, uh, a, um, what is this? Apple watch, Pandora, uh, bracelet. Hope you guys checked out my Pandora, my last Pandora video. Uh, I went into detail with this bracelet, got my new charm there for Valentine's Day for myself. I buy myself stuff for Valentine's Day because I'm worth it and I love myself because my husband's been riding on celebrity holidays. I'm like, screw you, okay, whatever. I'm gonna buy myself something and I just might use your credit card. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, this is a Pandora bracelet and this is my um, double name bracelet that I got out of my. <laughs> jewelry uh box this morning but it's it's turning which is why no, i haven't worn it. it's not turning that bad though so i figured let me wear this until it really turns and then i can get rid of it and get stuff out of my jewelry box um what is this l m signet ring and uh, my bing bang happy face ring yes so uh oh i'm wearing my um louis vuitton speedy now let me tell you about this earring and I got one of the earrings, I got my, one of the purchases from Etsy, total waste of money. I cannot wait to, um, give a review, and I'm not gonna scathe, you know, I mean, give a scathing review, but it's a waste of money. I ended up cutting the, 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 it was a tiny little huggy, just like a hoop, just like this, but it was impossible to close. It wasn't like you could press it close, you had to, and it was so thin and delicate that the whole thing just bent out of shape, and it was one, a single earring, and it was like 40 bucks, and then it, it was just stupid. It was ugh, so annoying. So I'm not even going to bother mentioning the name of it. The whole thing has been destroyed. But this, this uh, earring charm that I got from Overstock, I am going to keep. Unfortunately, the, it, it was a two, it's two earrings. You know, so it's a pair. It's not like a single thing. But the hoops. I mean, there is 14 karat gold. The hoops are too big. I need, I want tinier hoops so that it, you know, the hoops, let me see if I can show you. The hoops come down too long. I mean, it, it's okay, um, but I want a smaller hoop. Um, so for now, I'm gonna wear it like that until I can find myself a little small huggy. 
Um, but these are cute. These were on sale for $59. And I like that the charm is substantial. <laughs> Can't even see it. it. The charm is substantial enough. You can see that. Um, the heart charm and then the little, uh, that, the little O-ring that you can hook onto any little hoops that you, um, that you want. So I kind of like how that looks. So I'll be keeping these. Like I said, these are from Overstock and I think they're called the Puffy Heart Charm. There was only eight of them left. So if you guys want it, I'll link them below. Um, grab them. Super cute. I'm going to see if I, well, I'm going to go to one of these days. I couldn't, I, I was trying to hoop, hook it onto that, but I cannot, first of all, I can't get this off. You need like pliers to get it off. Um, so it could dangle from there. So one of these days I'll go to a piercer and have them take this out so I can hook this on there. I think that'll be cute as a dangle there. And then one more thing before I go, oh, let's get into makeup. I'm wearing my Coastal Sense eyeshadows again um, on the eyes. And for a lippy, I'll put her name up here because I can't remember off the top of my head who asked. But I will put your name right here. Wanted a dupe for this Jeffree Star androgyny. And of course, I hate mentioning this idiot's name. But um, I love this color. This freaking color is perfect. And she wanted me to just, um, let me know what dupes are out there. And I actually found a, perf a kind of perfect dupe where you don't actually have to mix. Um, I know Lime Crime had some weird weirdness going on years ago, but they're forgiven. <laughs> you know, they're not racist or anything. Um, but okay, so I will swatch the Jeffree Star androgyny. Alright, so that's Jeffree Star androgyny. And then I think the Lime Crime Teddy Bear comes in and very close. Look at that. Very close. I think that is very close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Jeffree Star on the bottom lip. Eww. Messed that up. And I'm going to put the Lime Crime on the top lip so that you can see and remember not to. Okay, so there's androgyny at the bottom. Alright. And then Lime Crime's teddy bear at the top. I think that is a perfect dupe. And you don't even have to mix it. I was like, I was in an eye. I completely forgot that I owned this. And now, once... The Jeffree Star goes, oh, it's perfect, right? Perfect dupe. Lime Crime Teddy Bear. And I think these are, are these $20? I think these are $20. And you can get Lime Crime either at their website or some Urban Decays have them. Um, Urban Decay. Urban Outfitters, some Urban Outfitters have these. Um, yeah, perfect dupe. Perfect dupe. So, definitely. If you want Jeffree Star's androgyny and you don't want to deal with ignorance, go for Lime Crime. And they're the same, to me, they're the same formula. Perfect. <gasps> Yay, Amy. Answered my own question, too. So, yeah, that is it for today, guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will be talking to you next week. Take care. Bye.